One of the things that makes a word processing application like Word so useful is that you can quickly reuse and arrange text without having to retype it. Let's copy this title and paste it to another location in the document. As with formatting, you first need to select the text that you want to copy. Then, on the Edit menu, click Copy. Notice that the shortcut is Command-C, if you prefer using the keyboard. Now, drag the scroll bar to the end of the document, click under the last paragraph, and press Return two times to insert some space. Then click Edit, Paste. And you can see that an exact copy of the text is pasted. The button that appears when you paste text or other objects is called the Paste Options button. Here you can select how you want the pasted text to appear. Let's go with the default option, which is to keep the source formatting. To hide the button, either begin typing or press the Escape key located in the upper left corner of your keyboard labeled ESC. Scroll back to the top of the document and you can see that the original text is unchanged and appears exactly as you left it. If we had used the cut command instead of copy, the original text would have been removed but still available to paste. Now, instead of copying this last paragraph, let's move it below the title we just pasted. Again, you first need to select the text to move. When the cursor appears as this arrow, click and drag the text. As long as you hold down the mouse button, a ghosted version of the text appears along with the moving insertion point. When you get to the location where you want to move the text, release the mouse button. If you make a mistake, like I just did by dropping the text in the wrong place, you can use the Undo option here on the standard toolbar. Click it once for each action you want to undo. To see all of the actions you can undo, click the arrow to the right of the button. Keep in mind that copied or cut text can be pasted over and over until you copy or cut a different selection. Also, the copy and paste commands are universal. In other words, they're available in all Office applications, as well as most other applications, and on the web. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to set several common layout options for your document.